Okay, Lou. Catheter's going in. Let's go by cable view. Scan on. So IFE in the picture. Yeah. picture. Balloon's going up. So you see shots, but we the, don't see uh, the IFE. There you go. Picture in picture. Wedge the balloon coming up. Catheter. There it is, up the yeah. IVC. All right, we're into the right atrium. Let's grab a right atrial pressure here. Scan off. Scan off, scan off. So take right atrial pressure and femoral artery. And you'll see that we've acquired these images in advance so that as we navigate through the heart, we have all the images that we think we'll need to be able to perform the procedure. But these can be adjusted interactively. If we have time, we can show okay, you some of that let's later. Go coronal RV view, scan on. Scan on, scan on. And let's do slice thickness three. Slice thickness three. So there you see working the balloon bouncing around in the right atrium. Child on the One of the challenges of this is, is in contrast to our usual, there we are in the right ventricle, scan off. In contrast to a usual fluoro-based cath, Could you show I can only see the tip of my catheter and not the whole shaft. So it does bring in some challenges, but by changing the slice thickness, by changing the acceleration, we can optimize the imaging so that we can really navigate through the right heart. So you'll see she has a normal right ventricular pressure, as expected for a healthy 17-year-old. And show me ED field a two-chamber view on the lower left and a four-chamber view on the lower right. The defect in this case for the audience uh, is known to be a kind of a right in the middle of the inner atrial septum, a moderate secondomic atrial septal defect about 10 millimeters. We'll come down into the right atrium. So there's the balloon in the right atrium you see on the four chamber view. This day at Lauren told me our projection is not great. So it's kind of hard to see my balloon a little bit. So what you see right now is a four chamber view. The balloon is the bright spot in the right atrium. Uh, this is a standard almost axial plane. It's oriented more to the four chamber view of the heart. And what we're seeing is Dr. Cantor attempting to across the atrial septal defect to obtain a left atrial pressure um, and potentially an LV, LV EDP. So we promised you a right heart cath. You, we may get a left heart cath too. Sometimes this is a little hard to do with a floppy noodle. Absolutely. Especially uh, retrograde against blood flow. Yeah, and this, as we said before, this cath has now been in the body for about 10 minutes so and the longer the, the cath is in the body and sometimes we just have to take it out, start with either a new cath or just not literally cool the cath down in a bath of cold saline and that, that gives us back some of the stiffness and the torqueability and the movability that we need. And actually, I don't know if the audience caught that Dr. Cantor is changing out his catheter at this point. I think he called for the T-tip. Right, so he had a straighter catheter that he was using How to get into the SBC. There? And, uh, and he switched we like to make a big deal about minutes. the different catheters. We love talking about T-tip and that sort of thing. Exactly. <laughs> that may be dull for you, okay. but um, it's right. very interesting how we just take for granted <laughs> that we have high-fidelity hemodynamics. We, this, is, this is the actual um, All right, so hemodynamic we'll go back reporting in, system that we use in the x-ray lab. By cable view on a, one. a front end. If you'd like catheters more information, we're going to post it at an NIH website for you to check out details. We can provide plans for you to make your own or uh, we can put you in touch with companies that And then that let's switch to two and three now. Immunotic systems. Laura, you can let Josh know he has plenty of time. Oh yeah, we did, thank you. So while we're watching Josh cross from the right HM to the left HM, if you can, uh, that web URL is icmr.nhlbi.nih.gov. ICMR.NHLBI. There we go. That's the left atrium. There we are. You can see the balloon right. there on the four chamber you. view, <laughs> right by the uh, left pulmonary vein. So let's scan off. Let's take left atrium. I'm going to point to it just because of the bright light. Pulmonary vein. There we go. Left ventricle, you see that there, nicely on both views. And then look at the hemodynamic leg pressure.